Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. Definitely not winded from two flights of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? So this was a surprise. We got this in the mail last November. Okay. And it says... Daniel and Rex, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Keep doing reviews. Keep doing... Oh, oh. Good reviews. From the Rare Malt team. Yeah, oh. from the website. The Rare Malt Whiskey oh, website. Oh, right on. Yeah. Because this is one of their exclusive releases. Wow. It's a Japanese whiskey where they selected the barrel. So, this is always nice whenever you can get into a Japanese whiskey and you know, you know, it's actually Japanese mm -hmm. and the barrel and the distillery. So what's the deal with this? Well, we don't, I, I guess they're, are they taking like a gift from a rep? I mean. It's a website. But they send such a lovely card. <laughs> No, no, no. Reps are from, uh, from distilleries and whiskey companies. And if you're yeah. in the whiskey business, yeah, and you send us a you whiskey, you get the awkward moment of silence. Okay, okay. So this is Thank from you for the, note. the Mars Shinshu Distillery. Okay, which was started. Woo! Mm -hmm. What's well, it? Dark. It's got some color on it. Um. Ooh. A long time ago. Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, it was started actually in more modern times. Like I think it was like seventies or eighties. We should do a version of what the whiskey notes would be if I were doing it. Yeah. Ooh. It started. Uh, I don't know. Asian country looks like. Looks like the vaguely Asian. There's uh, there's a fifty eight percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. I would nail the proof. <laughs> like, everything outside of that. So essentially, what happened was they started in the more modern whiskey era. Yeah. Right when Japan's uh, whiskey was starting to climb. And then they mothballed in 1992 mm -hmm. and have not been producing anything until 2012 when they started production again. So this whiskey is a three to four year old Japanese whiskey mm -hmm. and it's specifically a Pedro Amina's sherry cask oh, beautiful. malt. Okay. So the on the nose, the thing that strikes me isn't, you know, the dark, you know, sherry notes. It's more of like a, a really delicate wildflower character. But it's it is floating on top of this nice mature maltiness. Yeah, and the maltiness is there, but as I get into it a little bit further, it's definitely very ethanol. It's fifty-eight percent, and you can tell this is. Yeah. It does as you agitate the whiskey a little bit. It does smell hot. Well, damn near sixty, man. I mean, that's about as hot as it gets. Yeah, I know. I I know. I absolutely get what you're saying about the eth the ethanol being present. Right. Ethanol is definitely present. It's not but... dominating. It's definitely a candy. This reminds me a little bit of Glendronic. Okay, I would think Glendronic is going to be a little bit more saturated and dense. And more s s sherry. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that's a thing. Oh, I really like that. And then the... I haven't always liked sherry cask Japanese whiskey. It's like a fruit preserves and honey yeah. mixture. This is as dense and sweet as that special edition Dalmore we had yet uh, yeah. last week. Yeah, yeah. Now you can tell with, with, with the that high of a proof, mm -hmm. the flavors are keeping up though. Oh Very yeah. Very present. The so, ethanol, it's it's that hot, but it doesn't overwhelm the 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 notes that are in there. Again, the, it stays with you like the the finish of fruit preserves. That so I had a fruit jam the other day. Oh. Have you ever had a fig jam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's it. And it was on toast, and so I got like the bready butter note. You know, I'm thinking you, the moment you said figs, I'm mm -hmm. thinking fig newtons. Oh, I've, I hate fig newtons. Dude, this I'm getting so but much. I, I'm getting so much fig newton. I get that because yeah. of the bready combo with the, yes, 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 right. I hate it because of the texture. Well, fig newtons have this weird grainy, they do seedy the, texture. The bready bit isn't bringing much to this. It's like graham cracker bready. It's not bringing yeah. that much to the situation there. But um, the actual interior of a fig newton, that kind of almost like a figgy paste, like candy figgy paste. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's for real. But I am getting almost like a bread, like a slice of bread and butter, and then covered in that fig jam. Mm. Yeah, there's, I can a, see that. there's a weight to it. It would be more so actual bread and butter than the outside of a Fig Newton. Because that doesn't have much flavor. The outside of a Fig Newton is mm -hmm. just kind of... Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to take this down wow. just a little bit. Wow, that's good. Just uh, Let that sit for a second and right. check out your comments. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get the Glendronic. You get the Glendronic, and I think there's one more note that was eluding me. Uh, there was getting like a nice little delicate wildflower nose. I'm not finding that on the taste. I think because the darker fruits... Um, the maltiness, 
Uh, they're so present, I think they're overwhelming that, that lighter note. Uh, David Parks, which tribe shenanigan would you absolutely never try again? Uh, I know mine. Getting my body waxed. Yeah, I was thinking, I don't know Brad that I have one. LeClaire. But uh, that was brutal. I'll bet Brad has one. Because <laughs> I still uh, remember the story of Brad saying he had to go home and explain to his wife what he flew to Texas to do. Yeah, what I wax to do. And I, was, and I was not giving Brad any, any amount of, of out. Oh, no. He's, he's on his way. I was like, Brad, you, you realize. I'm going to make this weird. I'm going to make eye contact. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way the tribe episodes come together, it looks like you're getting brutalized and picked on from episode to episode. But uh, there's nothing that you would actually uh, never do again? No. So, that just you heard this. They picked it up. He's down to redo any of the things we've ever done on the channel. Yeah, just okay. the rapid fire shenanigans. Witness Re me! A gauntlet. <laughs> Of <laughs> non-stop shenanigans. Okay, I keep looking for the sherry. Try that. This is the Ben Riek 12. I keep looking for like a really dominated sherry cask, but there's this earthy mustiness to all the scotch versions that's not in the Mars one. It's almost like uh, like a little bit of a root beer soda character on this. Yeah. I mean, coming off the heels. Yes. Yeah, I'm saying I'm keeping... In keep, an AB. I've always considered these Ben Rieks to be really sherry cask heavy. But um, this is more so on the this taste. This is so much more sweet candy on the taste. On the taste, but I don't want to undermine. I don't want to undersell the, the level of dark, heavy fruits that are actually being brought with that. Just very sugary uh, fruit preserves that fig paste. That's for real. Oh, 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 good. There's oh, oh, that's it is closer on the taste. By the way, the water. Opens up a little bit of pepper, but not enough to dominate the sugar. Did you try that? No, I tried it with water. Okay, try this one. Yeah, a little bit of pepper. I like it better with the, without the water. Right, me too. Yeah. Now try um, this it, comparison. It loses a couple of steps of sweetness, mm -hmm. um, and it comes a little bit more tan. Young, a little bit more tannic. And young tasting. Oh, yeah. That's the Deer Bear Moose. It's both special edition from Flaviar. Oh, those the are both Dalmore. Really nice. Yeah, those are both really nice. That's a 14 year old Dalmore. I think they're cousins. And this three to four year old is holding its own. Whoa, with hold it. on, this is three to four. Yeah. Years old. Wow. <laughs> Add to proof they released it. Yeah. I think you know, based on the water. Jeez. Uh, if they proofed it down, the youngness may become more apparent. Mm hmm. Right? Uh, but that was just at a really that quick, density. A quick drop and then a sip. Um, who knows? It may like marry and mature into something where you don't, you're not able to tell quite as easily that it's a young whiskey. Maybe, maybe, but uh, I think that's a beautiful whiskey. Cool. I, I really like that. We have the Joshua J. Roby. Does Daniel still have his inferior Muchi knockoff? Yeah, it's um. Who has that now? You do, because it it doesn't work anymore. You want to know how I'm 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 better than you? Hmm. Because I mooched your knockoff Moochin. <laughs> you get this. Yeah. That's a travesty. That's an amazing. insult. An insult to my stallion <laughs> of a Moochin. And you mooched it. <laughs> that I mooched it. I make it mine. <laughs> and the things I have planned for that pile of hot garbage. Oh, yeah. Well, um, dude, I'm a fan. Pleasantly Who surprised. Knew? And the fact that it could actually stand up to a 14 year old Delmore. 14 year old Delmore. I mean, they are, they're cousins. They're in. Yeah. They're not, you know, they're not exactly they're not identical. siblings, they're cousins, mm -hmm. and I would definitely put them on like the same tier. And it stands up in complexity, is what absolutely. It up. But here's the fight stealing and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us.